Today, we are away to Derby County for our last game of the season. Our league position has been decided, but have we done better than Glen Roder in the 0102 season? Let's go and find out in today's episode of Chasing the Fortune. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming. And yep, we've got our last game of the 0102 season coming up for you today. Away to Derby County. Before we do get into that, I, have, I am, of course, going to catch you up on what's been going on since we've last been together. There is quite a lot to catch you up on. Because I've accidentally played a few too many games. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. But we are going to see how we've done. We're going to see our final league position. And before we do get into all of that good stuff, I have got a very quick question for you guys that I would love for you to answer down below in the comments section. And that is... Do you want to see a second season of this save? So see how we're going to get on next season. Or would you like us to go even further back? As far back as the 1976-77 season. If you would like to see us manage the likes of Billy Bonds, Brooklyn, Devonshire... Marvin Day, I think, is in the database as well. So many players from back around that era. If you would like to see us do that, let me know down below. And also, if you've been enjoying this series, pop a like down below. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. All of that good stuff, yeah? Now let's catch you up on what's been happening since we've last been together. We was last together... For this Chelsea game here, this absolute madness of a game, 4-3 it ended up. We lost it in the 85th minute thanks to a William Gallas goal. Absolutely mental game. And well, since then, it's been very, very up and down. We, we drew with Cholton 2-2. We lost again to Chelsea, 3-2. Not quite as mad that game, but still very, very close. But then after that, we had a 6-1 victory against Bolton. Jermaine Defoe getting a hat-trick, is it? Kitson and John Moncur also getting on the score seat. And then we followed that up with Joe Cole getting a couple of goals against Sunderland at home. Two very nice goals. A very, very nice performance that was from Joe Cole there. But then after that, we had a nightmare against Arsenal. 5-1 we lost. We was never in this game. I know we took the lead in the third minute, but that was a fluke. And ever since that, they just... They got angry and they took it out on us. Terrible, terrible performance. That, very glad I'm not going to have to go through that again for a little while. But then, after that, we lost our next two games, 3-2, away at Anfield against Liverpool. Canuti and Joe Cole getting our goals. Smeetcher and Carragher scoring theirs after Rigobert Song had scored an own goal. So, yeah, really mad back and forth game that. And then 3-2, like I said, against Southampton. Kevin Davies getting one. Anders Svensson getting two. Defoe getting ours. Lundit Farm, that's a name from the past. That's a name I used to really enjoy watching. And so, yeah, he scores an own goal for us. Don Hutchinson got sent off, and that's when it all started going a little bit pear-shaped. And then after that, we changed our formation. We changed our tactics a little bit. And Jermaine Defoe got us to win against Leicester City. 
Defoe with two goals in that particular game to win that one for us. And then 3-2 against Ipswich. So we've won our last two before this game. De Canio getting a penalty. Defoe getting another couple in that game. So that takes Defoe all the way to 32 goals from 32 starts and 6 appearances. The man has been a machine. Hopefully he, he can get another couple today to help us end the season on a very nice note. And so... Do you want to see where we finished? We are going to be having European football next season because we are going to be finishing at the lowest sixth in the table. So we have indeed done better than Glenn Roda by either one position or two positions because we did finish seventh in his first season in charge. So... I'm very, very happy with that. But I have just noticed that if we lose to Derby, Liverpool have got two games in hand. So they could overtake us. So we really, really want to be winning this game against Derby County today. Let's go and get into the team and then get into the game. The team for today's game looks like this. We've got Shea Given in goal, Scott Minto and Rigobert Song are our fullbacks for today. And then in the middle of the defence, we've got Christian Daly and Pochettino, both playing as no-nonsense centre-backs. And then in the midfield, there is our only change from our last game. We've got Michael Carrick as a box-to-box -box midfielder. John Moncur as a ball-winning midfielder. Kim Kallstrom is a roaming playmaker. And then up front, it's De Canio on the left, Canute on the right, and Jermaine Defoe is our sole striker for today. De Canio and Canute are playing as inside forwards. So pretty much our strongest team. Please let us get a win today to finish the season. Here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to go pump me fists and I'm going to say, come on lads, show me what you can do. Not much of a reaction. Let's try, of course, the old gotta have faith that always, always works. And yep, there we go. And so prediction time. I'm going to be confident. 3-0 to West Ham, I think, with Jermaine Defoe getting a hat-trick. Come on, you irons. First highlight of the game is De Canio with a free kick. Darby managed to get it away, but De Canio's the first one back to it. And now Kim Kallstrom to Rigobert Song, coming down the right-hand side. Can he get the ball into the box? He's trying to take his man on. He crosses it in, goes to Paolo. Back to Scotty Minto, back to Paolo De Canio, back to Scotty Minto once again. And now Minto down the left. Can he get this into the box? Nope, he goes back to Carrick, who plays it to De Canio. Out wide to Minto. We are keeping the ball nicely, but I would like to see us do something soon. And we have Kim Kallstrom with a beauty of a goal from just outside the box. Very, very nice driven effort there, giving the derby keeper absolutely no chance. Just have a look at this. Carrick to Kallstrom and almost kind of on a half volley, he levers it into the back of the net to give us the lead. Immediately after, we've got another highlight. It's John Moncur now to Freddie Canute, into Defoe to Canute, whose long shot is blocked. And now Michael Carrick out wide to Minto. And can Minto get this into the box this time? Nope, he goes to De Canio who crosses it. And Canute makes it 2-0 two. Two to the Cockney boys. 2-0 to the Cockney boys. Yes! Very, very happy days here. We are finishing the season off perfectly. 
and have a look at this. What was their keeper doing? Gave Canute the easiest goal he will ever score. Even I could have scored that. Well, never offside. Why do they show these? Why do they show these? They're never offside. And while we're just waiting for the next highlight, I have been asked about what skin I'm using. I'm using the Prizek or the Prizek Pro skin. You have to pay a couple of quid to get access to it. But I think it's really worth it because you can see all the info you can get on match days. And there's a lot of info on player profiles. I'm going to do a video highlighting the skin at some point over the weekend and get that out uh, Monday or Tuesday for you guys to have a proper look around the skin. It is really, really good. I'm going to link to it down below because it is well worth a couple of quid. But with that plug done for Prizek, we've now got the ball again. Say given into Scotty Minto. De Canio, can he make it free right on the stroke of half time? Kalstrom, he's got the ball to Monker, to Canute, to Song. Derby just cannot get anywhere near us. Song goes to De Canio, and De Canio almost gets a worldie there, but it hits the bar and goes out. And I think, yep, indeed, that is the half time whistle. We have dominated this game. We've had Eight shots to Derby's three, five on target, two then none. And XG is actually pretty close, 0.56 to 0.81. But we've had 61% of the possession. You love to see a stat like that. Let's go pump me fists again. And you've played well, but there's room for improvement. And just going to tell the lads, there's a lot more to come from you. And it's not really done that much. But one more goal and my prediction is correct. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Ten minutes into the second half, Scott Minto throws the ball to Kalstrom, who goes central to Carrick, who then goes to Canute. And George Burley there, getting the ball back, goes to Hignett. Or is it Craig Burley? I think it's Craig Burley at this point. And Burley forward to Fabrizio Ravanelli. Pow. Burley, Burley into Ravanelli, wide to uh, Seth Johnson, I think it is. He crosses it in, Christie with the header, and that goes harmlessly over the bar. 63 minutes gone, the Derby keeper has just lumped the ball long. Christie nods it down for, for Stefanio Iranio, which is a great name. He's trying to go past our man, he's crossed it into the box, and Christie's header has gone wide. They're getting back into this game. I do not like that. That is the final whistle. We have won the game. Two goals to nil. Derby County could not get themselves back into it. And so that victory does mean that we have guaranteed ourselves a fifth place finish. We have beaten Glen Roder's record by two places. So I'm very happy about that. That means my ranting over the last 20 years of how I could have done it better has been proved correct. So I'm very, very happy with that. Man United have won the league on goal difference from Arsenal. Chelsea finished third, two points back. Leeds United finished in fourth on 71 points, four points ahead of us. Liverpool finished on 64 points. Spurs in 8th, Everton in 11th, Ipswich in 12th and Sunderland, Leicester and Bolton have all gone down unfortunately for them and so guys that is where we are going to leave it like I asked you earlier in the video let me know down below do you want to see a second season of this save or do you want to see me go even further back and go to the 1976-77 season? Let me know down below what you would like to see. And while you are down below, pop a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. 
and subscribe to the channel for even more Football Manager 21 content 22 when that comes out and I'm planning on doing a FIFA 22 career mode when that game drops as well. So if you're excited for all that and you're new, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMadeGaming, TaylorMGaming. And also, I am a member of the Passion for FM team. So please do check out all the other Passion for FM guys. All their links are going to be down below. They all do cracking content. And yep, guys, that is everything from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.